so we are back again with the battle right after the demon, two demon god pillars and now we are going to fight a relatively difficult battle because as you can see from this we are up against a writer and caster combination which is difficult because Ozymandias who is the main boss is a writer so you really, really want to bring assassins against him but he has caster support in all three phases of the fight. So yeah, assassins can get absolutely destroyed. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring a writer friend that can take care of all those casters hopefully and that way our assassins that we have a main one and a backup one can hopefully deal the damage to take him down now what do you do my friend i've never actually used you let's see heavy damage to all enemies and decreased defense eh, it's okay i guess do we have any single any single target one anyone that comes in with a proper charge maybe uh, we have Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed. They're okay, I guess. Unfortunately, I don't really like that essence because it'll deal constant damage to them. What do you do, my friend? Ignore him and apply a favorite special attack caster. Oh, ho, ho, ho. somebody got lucky and got that craftings, and this is exactly what we need in order to take down Nidocris very quickly. So, yeah, you are our choice. There we go. Now, once again, match this in there so that we can have the extra cost available to us so that we can actually have some higher level MPs. I equip Mash with this Holy Shroud of Magdalene, which reduces her damage from males. So hopefully she will make it all the way to Ozymandias and eat all the damage she can do, hopefully, and survive it. Other than that, as you can see, we're going to start with Yogi Shiki to help deal with Ozymandias. Two riders in order to help take down uh, Nito Chris. And really, that is all we can hope for, honestly. So... And we go. Here we go. Okay, so we have a Sphinx. It isn't too tough. Now, Ozymandias has a single target MP, but Nito Chris during the third fight is going to have an AoE MP. So we need to be ready to take her out the moment we get to that fight. Uh, luckily, our friend came prepared to fight against casters, which is good. And Ryogi really isn't ready to start hitting, so we're going to do this. And hope he eliminate the Sphinx this time around. Didn't eliminate it, but it's close enough. Okay, we need to take that thing. Oh, this is good, actually. This is actually very good. Let's do it this way. That way we can have MPs ready for the second fight if we need them. And now it's up to Ryogi to deal the damage we need. Holy! That was a lot of damage our Kintoki just took. An insane amount, if I do say so. Okay, so what we are going to do is deal as much damage as we can using our own MP. And let's use this to get a little bit of heal. Increase our survivability just a little bit. This is the best chance for dealing damage we have at this point in time. Okay, not too bad. Good thing we healed him, otherwise he would not have survived that. And we do have basically guaranteed criticals on everybody now. Which means... Let's see, we can do this. Okay, we can use Ryogi to... See, uh, let's, let's do it this way. And use Ryogi's uh, MP on the next fight to help take him down quickly. Perfect. That was just a shadow, by the way. Here comes another one. There we go. Now, he is obviously not going to be subjectable to instant death, obviously. But we're still going to try. Uh, you might as well use this and get yourself some health. And then, uh, might as well do this. It's the best thing we can do at the moment. Jokes. 
Oh, might have been just enough. Nope, just short. But that means she can also charge it up quickly for next round, which is good. Now that's left is her. Could have been a lot worse, if we're perfectly honest. Okay, so let's do as much damage as possible. Don't attack us, don't attack us, don't attack us. Damn it. Ooh, we survived. <laughs> but we are cursed, unfortunately. Yeah, he is not going to survive, unfortunately, as much as I would love him to. So what can we do? Uh, do this and get as many critical stars as possible for next turn, because Mash comes in next turn. Oh, he survived. <laughs> that was sheer luck. Now, here comes the problem. Azim Diaz has fully charged MP at the beginning of this fight. <laughs> yeah, fair, right? Now, it is a single target, though, which is good. So, it'll only target one person. You might as well survive as much as you can. Okay, we're ready to cast it. And, oh, this is going to be a waste... But getting as much damage on him will be advantageous no matter what, so we might as well do this. And we might as well, honestly. Get as much damage on him as possible. So we'll start with... Let's see. What does your overcharge do? So if defense ignoring damage is good. Chance of death. Yeah, that's not going to be good, so we might as well do this. Even if she does deal more damage, going last in an MP chain does not increase your damage unless the extra effect of your MP says you do. Similar to how Jack or Kinto Keys works that it increases that specific card's effectiveness. Okay, halfway down his hell. That's we couldn't have had that sort better. Come on, target Ryogi, target Ryogi. Damn it. Not much you could have done there, honestly. Okay, let's have you target us, if you don't mind. Okay, we need something better to attack Nita Chris, because we need to eliminate her relatively quickly. That is not what we were hoping for, unfortunately, so we might as well take these our attack and go for her. That's really the best you could do since she's resistant to right uh, assassins. <laughs> really? Uh, talk about a waste. Um, let's see, that's good. We might eat an MP next turn, which is not good. Oh! Close. But no banana. Okay, so what can we do? Oh yeah, we can do this for starters. 
And let's see. Nope, we have assassin chain available to us, so we might as well do that. And she needs to dodge as well. I almost missed that. Let's go with that, and then Jack can do this. Okay, and it's basically now us against them. Okay, it's Ushibakamaru, so this. We might have to end up using command seals in order to guarantee our victory here. There's nothing left to do but this. I'm not sure she'll be able to kill him though, but class type advantage might give us the edge. Okay, that was what, 60? 66? Just not enough. Okay, but we might be able to take him down with this. Let's go for it. Now remember that arts cards deal more damage than quick cards, so... Let's go for it and see what happens. Yep, there we go, just enough. And we have enough to go against Little Chris. Unfortunately, this... Now it's all up to Ushi here. So we have nothing left to do but start with that because we might as well use it. And then go for this. And we should have this in the bag, hopefully. Okay, it's all up to her now. And unfortunately, no quick chain, which is unfortunate. It would have been good, but beggars can't be choosers. It, now, if we can kill her with the MP, we'll eat up her resurrection. And we did, excellent. So we got this. She resurrects, there she goes. Success! Okay, we did it. Not almost as hard as Mordred, if we're perfectly honest, but we managed to do it. That is a lot of bond points. Very nice. A decent amount of experience. And all of that. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time, because the only thing left to do is the Assault on Camelot, and basically our rematch with pretty much every knight except Lancelot. So, later.